All right. Uh, okay, we're recording this now because I have reached. Let's see. It's I have reached. Ten out of ten Moogle tokens, which I can exchange for a burst token, and this is what the video is all about. It's all about having a burst power token exchange, my plans, and who will I be bursting, which is a follow up video on the last time I did a burst power token exchange evaluation. If you can search it up. Uh, it's in my videos. You can dig all through my WWE, AEW, Loki, One Division, Captain, Ca Captain America, and the Winter Soldier reviews for that. And let's see if plans have changed. So yeah, so four out of fifty. Let's go to the exchange, shall we? We're not gonna buy burst tokens. We're not gonna buy burst weapons. We're going to evaluate the burst weapons that I am planning to get once they uh, release. So, passive's not passive acquired. Passive's not yet acquired. Uh, it's already filtered. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, come tomorrow. On the Ash event, I will be going all in, all 120,000 tokens for Ildnarsh BT. I believe Ildnarsh is a unlikable character. He is the villain for everyone. He is un he is hated, and that makes me want to use him more because in my eyes he is the true villain in the in the fan in the fans or the players so when it comes to this I will burst pity it I will chase Ashes LD I will chase Stragos LD and I will chase Ildnarsh BT weapon because when he when the time comes he gets to level 90 he will get an ultimate weapon he will get a burst plus and obviously he will get a rework and the internet will go crazy next bit so mark my words if that happens the title is internet goes crazy Ildnarsh gets his BT plus and I will be the one, one of the first people that will green the LD weapon. Okay, so that's the plan. So after Ildnarsh, let's exit here. I don't have any plans for the burst power token exchange. So that's a, that's a huge waste of time. Uh, let's see. The next burst I'm going to token... I mean, we now go here to the token part of our video, and I'm most likely going to token I wish there was a search functionality. Let's see. This is hard. We, oh, we got 145 characters. Let's see. We are going to Togen. Yes, sir. We are going to Togen the Cloud of Darkness. So, I I purpled Cloud of Darkness when she got re-released during the boss rush in Ultimatius Verse. The problem is I haven't used her much because I have a hard time going through her rotations. 
But now with her LD that fixes things, I can slap hard with her tentacles. And that for me is a huge gain. And with her burst, she's going to be like the magical Noctis. And she's going to be the top tier friend support move, moving forward. I've seen QE done those videos. Cloud of Darkness. She's going to be my next burst token. I mean, she's the next in line for a burst token. Okay. Next. After Cloud of Darkness, I will do a back-to-back -back Burst Pity for Tidus and Yuna. So my resources are going down the drain. My next Burst Token plan is going to be the guy who doesn't need bravery himself, the guy who refunds the refund king. Captain Vosh von Rosenberg Van Fly Height over here. So Van Fly Height is going to have his rework coming up, his LD board in his burst re release, and I'll be using my burst tokens for Von via the Moogle tokens that I have accumulated. Remember, I got 40 burst tokens. I wish I can get 10 more in time for Cloud of Darkness. Then I will cash in on my Moogle Power Token, Moogle Token Exchange to get 50 more tokens and buy Van Fly Heights Burst Weapon. So, after Van, who's my next Burst target? Well, my next burst target will be another Final Fantasy XII character. It's Vayne Novus over here. So, I like Vayne. They keep saying his burst plus is kind of meh, but I don't care. The up his upgraded sk skills, the plus version of his, of his skills, are not used up, so he will have an unlimited ammunition. So, Vayne here, he's going to get the token really soon. Now, next after Vayne is. Given I still have enough, but I'm buying the mug pass every the premium mug pass every month. So I think I will still have enough. Is might be Where is he? This one, Final Fantasy Five. You're correct, assuming it's Gilgamesh. So when Gilgamesh gets his verse, I consider him to be good. And finally, he's going to be good. He's going to have three turns. He's going to have those unique HP plus attacks. And his skin is Final Fantasy VIII. And I think that falls into consideration that I should get the burst because that makes him technically an ff8 character even though his allegiance is to final fantasy 5 so gilgamesh will be a burst token character for me in the future so that is it so far on my burst tokens remember i still buy the premium mug pass every month and according to the planner from FFOO tip Gilgamesh will be released around March 2022 which is enough time for me to accumulate more Moogle tokens after I have 
but the one from vain so that's it for my burst tokens plan so but yeah there okay. so it's gonna be cloud of darkness van vain and Gilgamesh plans may change through the months if I manage to lock suck one of them but in my own personal view those are the four characters I'm willing to use my Moogle slash burst tokens on so that is for the burst section uh quickie uh quickie here uh, Crystal Chronicles did a, an LD speculations video, so I don't think it's gonna be an LD. Maybe the announcement is Joshua is having a baby or something. But for LD, uh, let's see. Let's see who are likely. So of course, of course, my. Wish is always Irvine because he's my favorite character. But for LD, if there's a potential global first LD character, I can only think of three that can have one. So it could be Seymour. It can be Seymour. Because he has a costume. He can have a costume. The Seymour Flux costume. He can have his Seymour Omnis costume. And I don't think we have a weapon skin package for our staff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we have a weapon skin package for staffs. So it's Seymour. Next is... Laguna, which is the number one pick of Crystal Chronicles. If I can find him, where is Laguna? There, there. I hate the lag. There. Next is Laguna. He can have his president costume. He can have his Galbadjan military costume. Yeah. But if it's Laguna, they have to re release the Golden Cactuar weapon skin. So that's a bit sus. And my top one pick. I can only give three. I can only speculate three at the moment. Because they have a potential costume, a potential weapon skin, new, existing, and we can have an already existing weapon skin in Japan that can be re released here in global. And a potential costume, and that is Prish. So Prish can have her... What? The, her... The costume where she's in her bra, in Dissidia. In her sports bra that looks like a summer motif costume if you ask me and we can have the moogle gloves as weapon skins if it, it, it is prish so those are my top three it's either seymour with a staff weapon skin and either of his final forms as his skin it's laguna with the president outfit or the Galbadjan military outfit as his costume and a re-release golden cactuar gun for his weapon skin or it is Prish which is the Mughal Fist weapon skin and her Desidia Duodesim sports bra attire as her costume 
I for one would happy to be Prish because I want to use her and I have I have not gotten her EX yet. So yeah, that's that's my uh, verse token and some LD speculation. I don't think it's a new LD, but if it's a new LD, I'll be happy about it. So thank you for watching and goodbye.